Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. First, I want to tell you, no, this is not alfalfa hay. This is Oklahoma prairie hay. But I want to talk to you about alfalfa. Now, you can buy alfalfa in bales, either wire tied or uh, tied with uh, poly twine or hemp twine. You can buy some alfalfa bales that have two wires, three wires, four wires. You can buy alfalfa bales that weigh 60, 70, 80 pounds. You can buy huge, big square bales of alfalfa that weigh almost a thousand pounds. Or, and remember, this is a big ore, this ore is about as big as your horse's butt, or you can buy bagged alfalfa. Now, what is the difference between a square bale of alfalfa, like a bale of hay, versus uh, a bag of alfalfa? Well, Bagged alfalfa is a process of where they take all kinds of bales of alfalfa, rounds and squares from all over the country. They kind of mulch them up, process them, and put them in a sealed bag. Kind of like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then uh, vacuum sealing it so that it can be as fresh and wholesome as possible. But here's the thing with bagged alfalfa, is when you open that bag, then now the integrity to protect it is gone, so you should really feed it very quickly. Bagged alfalfa, the tough thing about it is it isn't in flakes. It's more like a, a box of cereal. When you open up a box of cereal, if it's like corn flakes, it's very fluffy and they go everywhere. So you have to kind of scoop it up and there's a lot of waste. Whereas if you have a bale of alfalfa, you can cut the twine or the wire or the string and you actually have flakes. You have sections that you can pick up and it's easier to feed and to put into different types of feeders. Is What is better? Is a bale of alfalfa better than a bag of alfalfa? I don't know. I don't think that's an answer I can give you. I don't think it's an answer I should give you. And, I'll, and I'm going to qualify what I just said right now. Because I don't know your horses, I don't know you, and I don't know what your facilities are. Maybe at home, a bale of alfalfa is better. Maybe on the road at a rodeo or a show, show or you're going on a camping trip or just trail rides, maybe having one of those bags in the uh, dressing room or the tack area of your trailer or just to throw it in the back of your truck is more convenient and leave it there. That's the part I don't know. And maybe your horse, maybe your horse prefers real baled alfalfa, real baled hay, to something that comes in a bag. Once again, that's a decision for you and your horse. The only thing that I think is a real nice positive about bagged alfalfa versus a bale of alfalfa is, is that bagged alfalfa does come with a guarantee of no blister beetles. Now, if you don't know what blister beetles are, we do have a video about blister beetles and you can check it out in the categories of hay and grain or safety. I'm not sure which one it's under, but we do have a video talking about blister beetles and alfalfa. If you don't know what a blister beetle is in a bale of alfalfa, seek out that video and watch it. Now, the last thing I wanna tell you about bagged alfalfa versus baled alfalfa, is there really a quality difference? There can be, because when they, when they bag it, it seems to be pretty good quality. It always seems to be just a little greener. Uh, the digestible nutrients, the protein levels, just seem to be a little higher. Now, I'm not really clear why that is, but you get a real consistent feed when you feed bagged alfalfa. Whereas when you feel, when you've, uh, use baled alfalfa, well, fields are different. Here at the home place, all these bales are from the ranch, but some might have a little weeds, some might have a, a different variety of prairie grass, uh, and so there's a little inconsistency to baled hay, where bagged hay is literally like taking cookies out of off a grocery store shelf. One cookie is just like the next. Boom, 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 boom. Every bag of alfalfa is identical. So if you have a horse with a sensitive stomach, if you've got health issues, or you have a horse that you really want to put some weight on because it's been abused or health issues, and a veterinarian or a horse nutritionist is telling you alfalfa, you may want to go with bagged alfalfa because of the consistency and you know the quality. But once again, up to you. Sorry I can't give you better answers. I may have just given you a whole bunch of questions. This has been another Stall 13 
Dot com video. Take care of yourself and your horses.